If you can watch now um, the industry called gospel music today, you see that a lot of it is solely for the aggrandizement. It is for the awards. It is for the popularity. And we use gospel as, as, the, as the foundation, gospel music, but it, we're building all of this um, carnality on top of it. Who can get an award in? Who can get the, 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 the television spot in? Who's going to be on the televised award show? And, and the like. And that becomes the goal. You go to the award shows now and you, and you, and you, um, platform all of the gospel artists and all the new gospel music. And then you go to the reception afterwards and it's drinking and secular music. You got an open bar. They play nothing but secular music at a gospel award show. So this is, this has become the norm because we've let down the guard. The, 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 the guardians have let down the standard. And now there's another standard raised where it's all according to what you think is right. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end of those ways are the ways of death. So that's where we find ourselves. We're singing a great message, but we're not living a great life. Mm -hmm. So the word to those who look up to you, respect you, who uh, believe in you that may not know the way, like you say, the generation of today, mm -hmm. So that they can, if they're on that path, what would you say to them to abort that mission? Oh, man, there's so much to say because there's so much to institute and there's so much to dismantle. Yeah. And this generation has risen up that doesn't know God really in that sense. There's a lot to say. The first and foremost thing that I could tell anybody in the multiple generations that are underneath me is let Jesus Christ really be the Savior. Let him really be the one who sanctifies us. Let's learn what sanctification really is. Let's come out from among them and be separate from them and not touch the unclean thing. And, and he said, the truth, everybody says, you know, he, God is every, uh, we're all God's children. We're all God's children. That's not what Second Corinthians says. He says, only when you come out from among them and only when you're separate from them, he said, and then I will be a father to you. It's conditional. And then I will be a father to you. And then you will be my sons and daughters because you've come out from sin. You are living like me now in holiness. So we've got to get back to holiness. Live like God. And stop making excuses for the carnality that we've held on to that we wanted. 